If you're Canadian with HIV, you can forget about a winter in Florida. A rally in support of a U.S. bill to repeal the ban on HIV-positive visitors was held at the Vancouver Art Gallery on March 16th. I'm glad that uh, Senator Kerry and Senator Smith and Representative uh, uh, Barbara Lee have uh, undertaken the initiative to amend the legislation that's currently before Congress in the United States to, uh, to do away with this ban. Surrey resident Martin Rooney was recently denied entry to the United States under these laws. At which stage I was fingerprinted, photographed, and run through the FBI most wanted list, and two and a half hours later sent home. I have never felt more violated in my life. I was shocked, I was horrified. I was emotionally thoroughly distressed, and I decided to come home and fight this issue. A vast majority of American public health officials support removing HIV from the list of excludable conditions. We will be educating and lobbying our lawmakers to support the efforts of Republican Senator Gordon Smith of Oregon. Now I realize it's been talked about at national levels amongst organizations and sometimes the answer has been just lie about it. I mean I've heard the story. Well I'm sorry but the people I know with HIV aren't prepared to lie about it. It's not something they're going to do. It's not something they need to do. Why should we lie about our, our lives? It's it's okay to be queer. I love my life. I love being queer, you know? It's, uh, it's, it's a very significant thing that happened to Martin, and we will be vigilant in taking this to our own government, to our Minister of Foreign Affairs, with petitions, with letters, and we will keep this going until the ban has been lifted and the legislation is passed in the U.S. For Extra.ca in Vancouver, I'm Nathaniel Christopher.